I'd like to thank Jaguar, Land Rover, Range Rover for letting me do this video, the video on this 2019 Range Rover HSC. If you'd like to pick one up, just remember they do get a bit pricey. They can reach up to 100 grand. So if you're not trying to spend that much, this vehicle, if you're trying to purchase, may not be as good for you. As I said, there is Jaguar and Range Rovers and Land Rovers. As y'all see, there are some Range slash Rand, Land Rovers over there. You got all the cars here, so make sure to come check them out in Brantwood, Tennessee. They're not too far from Nashville, Tennessee. So make sure to come check them out and enjoy. The interior. So let's get in here and and I like and then we do this. As you see, you got all your as you see right here, you got your all your window controls. Driver is fully automatic. And then we do this one. It's not fully automatic, as you see. You got your real wood right here, that is real wood for the price tag you get. Your your almond cup your almond coffee. Your interior is almond. With the speaker right there with all your 19 speakers. You got your lock and unlock right here, your seat settings as of here, a black fuzzy little um, door holder right here, your aluminum handle, 
Then I shall see. I got like a little thing right here. You come here, you got all your own. Um, you got all your gun. You got all your mirror settings right there. And then you got Range Rover down here. Engraved to Range Rover. And here are your cream almond seats right here for Land Rover. Or Range Rover, whatever you'd like to say. They're 20 way. Pretty good for this type. And you look up here, and you got your 8 inch display. It's all automatic. You got gas right here. You got the mouse. The door is open. Let you know at park. You got Range Rover on the steering wheel with leather wrapped heated, just like heated mirrors up there. I mean, heated windshield. You got right up there. You got all your steering wheel controls as of here. Here. And maybe something to think you do got um, paddle shifters if you like to shift that way. With lights and all that up there, turn signals, all the fancy. Of course, it's good. And you come down here, you got your trunk button, your all your sources down there for the back. Your real wood, more wood imported right here. With your, with your air vents. And you come here and you got your parking brake right here if you need to engage that. All your driving modes right here. Traction control. Then, as you see, this is park, reverse, neutral, drive, standard. All that is your little gear shift turn. Right there. And then you come down here and you got a touch screen so in case. You can touch it to make it do how you like. And you turn on the four-way climber. And you got your seats. You can set how you want them there. Like your air conditioning seat controls. You got your vehicle right here. Your AC, your Eco, all this is controlled. You see air conditioning for the car right here. I'm going to change about your climate. And up here, up here, you got your home menu of the Rover on your 10 inch display right here. Then you got all your navigation, camera, and all that. So as you see, there is a camera right here. Let's look at a. There's front camera. As you see, there's rocks. And you got like more of the side view camera. And you got all your little camera modes as up here. And then if you hit the back one, you get like a rear view camera look. All your different camera modes. You got trailer mode, you got phone. All the basic little things, Bluetooth, talking sensors, all of that. On here, it is push button start as you'll see right here. Push button start. Hazards right here. So the cream as you come down. You got your cup holders right here. And then this is your, here is your Land Rover key fob with all the trunk and unlock, sadly no remote spot to start for this new menu. See right here that you got a little sliding thing so in case you don't want the cup holders, you slide it and you got your real wood as well down here and you just slide it to open it and it sits back down. All your air conditioning controls, majority of this is is um is controlled you don't have to control it by that but by now i probably can engage something and here's your center armrest you can lift up lift up it you got a little tree you got refrigerator in here so as you see these usbs power and all that then you hit this button and you can lift this up and you can have how cold you want your stuff in there for like you'll see I hit that button and then it goes on and off in case for that refrigerator if you just want to store water in there you can go ahead and store water in there maybe you're on travel or some other random thing you can just put that in there instead of regular console you get a refrigerator in there as well all your driving modes as I stated Land Rover engraved in some aluminum right here as you'll see sorry if it's a bit bright for y'all in here as you see up here to your rear view mirror and you got the thing is something I'd like to mention too as well is that yeah that's your curtain and you hit this one and you got your center You got a dual panic one 
a panoramic sunroof for your needs. You can close right back up. And then you put the straight thing back automatically. You got your little nice wood insert right you got your insert right here for all your stuff. Makes it go fit right, right nice right into there as y'all can tell. So we as you see all the fanciness in here, you can go ahead and go to media and sample your media thing. So it's so as y'all hear. So let's turn it up. That is your um, system. Sorry if it was short. You know how it goes around here. Get your little aluminum insert right here on both sides. So let's go and first show y'all the lights out here. So let's just turn them all on. So hopefully they it should work for y'all. So let's go show y'all the lights. We'll come out around here. Come up the rocks. I'm not sure that will work. Here are the headlights. They are very bright. As y'all see right through here, y'all got fog lights and all that on both sides. And they look the same on both sides. So, as y'all see, you got all this. So let's move to the back of the car. But first, you may, if you buy one of these cars, have to unlock the door. Make sure it's all unlocked before you try to get into the back. So let's pull this open. This is the back seat. You got your nice door and unlocks down here. And all your sensors. You got aluminum through here on the door. As you see, these do not have entertainment on the back seats back here that is totally fine a lovely nice mat pocket through there good door storage with soft as the front and here so you can set stuff in there and not get hurt when you come to your climate control your auto and all that you lift that up down there and as y'all see you all get your more outlets down there you got your 5 volt outlets here you got your 5 volt outlets, as y'all see right there. So, as you see, the folks can easily hold down for easy accessibility to the trunk in case you get stuck in there. This can come down. Make sure you guarantee not getting stuck. As you see, they're lovely, like almond color and almond express style. And they're nice, built to the touch, so if you spend long hours in the car, you can have good enough experience. So let's continue and show y'all the back here. There is a, um, if you look underneath here, there is a little button if I'm showing y'all all right. So let's hit the button. And it is power. You see that part did come up. And then you got this thing right here where it can, where it helps walk your cargo. But if you want that down too, just hit the button. And it comes down like a two-way thing, so then you can sit up on the nice star, the nice carpet and do that and you got all your controls back here for it so and all your outlets and that is a pretty good size trunk to fit all your groceries groceries you would need so let's put it back up by hitting the button again and go right back up then you come up here and hit the button and it powers itself down and as you see, you do got your rear spoiler right here. As y'all see. Uh, let's get in the passenger seat for the last part. Pop over something here. As y'all see, you got your another speaker on the door. Out of all your 19, your your seat movement as of here. And then you got your nice wood insert around here with your. Uh, with your color, your same interior color right here, and then it transitions into more colors like this soft touch black down here. 
So, and you can pull this down for a little mirror. So you just pull this out, and it got three lights right there. If you needed anything like that, and then you do get a good view of that. Real wood around this air conditioning unit. But the sad thing is, well, you can hit this button down. So, I don't know. So you see, so if you hit the bottom one, hit the bottom, and the go box just pops open for you to have all your manuals and all the stuff that comes with your car. And then you hit the top one. Again, I'm gonna hit the top one. And this one pops for you to put more stuff up here. So it's like an easier lock mechanism. It's easier to get to. And then you just close it like a normal one. And you won't even really notice that it was honestly there. So that is a good review for this car. As you see, there are armrests. Armrests if you need them, but you probably won't. There are armrests. That's probably going to conclude the video of the car, as I said. So, and you do got your panic button right here. So, that's going to conclude probably the video for y'all. So, hopefully y'all enjoyed it to the full potential. Now, as you see, I just want a little view of this. Not over here. And as y'all see, there's the car, there's the little rock they have there, and it's just propped up right against. So that's a good four wheel drive. You can get these in four wheel drive if you need to, just like a right wheel, any other SUV, just premium, more premium, and more all of that style. Hard to see in back there, not, not so hard, but right here, especially, it's a bit harder. See in case you need to get any of this thing right here. You see, it's more kind of designed like a pickup truck. But first, I remembered one last thing that we can do. If you come back here, you do your thing right here. If you come. Okay, but you do, you do got your um. I'm gonna come up there. Sorry, that black inserts on the door. So, if you come up here. And you got your engine, you got your V8 engine in here, as all of them. Some of them are just regular V8s, and some of them are your turbo -tallers. So, make sure y'all, with your heads up display, I'll see them right here. There you go. So, so if y'all ever want one, make sure to come check out Land Rover, Range Rover, whatever you like to call it, of Nashville. If you like to, it's going to tell you that your door is open and you hit OK. But we are just going to turn all the lights off, so. so. And as you see, you turn the lights on and it gets dimmer. For all this, we can keep assist all the other hoots and annies. So, without further ado, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share. And subscribe with those very nice outlets down through there. You got your little tailpipes where in a different shape. So don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And peace.